This is a test for the ultra capacitor in the car. I didn't have any temperature information for the spray on plastic to see what kind of temperature it could handle after it dried. So what I'm gonna do is just stick it in the toaster here. We're gonna start at 200 degrees. Get in the toaster. We'll see how things go. <laughs> So we're temperature testing the plastic. They kind of super stoked about it. He just, just wants to find out, like, is that super capacitor gonna work? Is the spray on rubber? Can it handle the heat? I just wanna know. I don't know about everything. I wanna know about the Tannerite for BB guns. Just please tell me. Tell me. Hello, my name is Peter. My name is Peter Zumwalt. I, I, I have a Zumwalt class destroyer named after me bloody name. Let's see how hot these it is. These. So we're gonna use a meat thermometer. I know I should use a different kind, but this is what I got. So this is what I'm gonna try to use. I'm gonna just stick it to some metal in there. Oh, dude, you sound so pathetic here. The aluminum foil is reading 120. Let's push it against the other metal thing here. This thing? The rack? Yeah, the rack. That's it. 125 C's, 126 C's. 28 9 30 C's. Yes, kitty. Yes, it's so interesting, isn't it? Oh, it just keeps going up. Yeah. Okay. Maybe let's see in the back. That stabilized it. About 134 degrees. Uh, right now, the, the cold air is probably cooling it down, but we're down to about 130. So what we're going to do is we're going to increase these, the temperature these, and keep these at cooking these, and see how good the spray-on plastic functions in a high heat environment like the inside of your engine compartment. So it hasn't ignited on fire, but poke it with a stick, with the always scientific poke it with a stick test. <laughs> so let me grab a stick. A stick. Uh, here's a uh, stick. Call and... it by monkeys. Yes. The, been using it ever since uh, I was a little little monkey. I remember back swinging from the trees and when I was a little monkey and I was like, oh, I don't know what that thing is there. I should poke it with a stick. And it turned out it was an ant hill. And I stuck the stick in and I pulled it out and I ate ants. <laughs> That's back when I was a monkey. It's uh, staying on. That's good. Not spearing off. It feels fine. Okay, so that was up probably around 140. Got his peak Peakity peak peak peak. So we're gonna turn these that up. Cat, I really hope you're not gonna take a dump right there. That'd be so dumb. But well, you are kind of dumb. It'd be, it'd be par for the course for you. I don't know how hot the inside of an engine compartment gets. I was gonna check on the car, but uh, we're busy doing other stuff, so I haven't had time to check it yet. Uh, so for now, we'll just uh, try 250, and we'll see what happens. I think engine compartments get to like 260 or something inside the engine, but I, I'm not really sure. Maybe. Hot. I don't know. Transmissions, I think, those get to around 190, I think. That's a lot. Yeah. That's about as Almost hot. boiling. 212 is the boiling. I'm, I'm talking all old English units, you know. Old English? The 20 only America uses that stupid old system that started in England, considering how many other things were rejected from them, you know. Like, oh, you put your folks on the left. Well, I mean on the right. Well, we're going to put them on the left. Ah! How about you? Actually, I'm not sure if that's one of the things we changed. Is it? Um, I don't know. Huh. Maybe there wasn't really a system before, and, like, before the roads and the first was being made, they are probably just, like, people didn't really care which side they drove on. No, I was talking about forks. Oh, forks. Like, silver, cutlery. Yeah. Alright, let's go play games. Uh, what, let's see. Oh, maybe from it touching the sidewalls or something? Make sure it's coming off the foil. Yeah, definitely. Is it, some, off is it something on the back? Well, there was that was sitting there. That's um, that's been in there for a long time. Well, that's that's from the the nitrogen triiodide uh, paper towel. Oh. The broil turns it on the burner, and it doesn't regulate it at all. The heater element never turns off when it's on broil. And it just sits there and just roasts. Meow. Yeah, just turn it down a bit. There we go. So we've had it up at four hundred. I know, Kitty. A couple more hours. Let's see what the thermometer says the temperature is. I tried putting it on the ceiling of the toaster. I, n I know these readings are not, like, the best, not accurate. It looks like, you know, we're below 400. Well, I had some fortuitous forgetfulness in that I left the spray plasti dip in the toaster. It's still on right at 400 degrees. That's just touching the, the tin foil that the rubber is on. 
I can't open the door very much. It sounds like the thing kicked back on. So in fact, I just touching the, the aluminum foil. I think 280 degrees is probably pretty reasonable to assume that it got to maybe 350 degrees. I'd probably get a better temperature recorder thing. In conclusion, the spray-on rubber Plasti Dip should be fine on the supercapacitor and the motor compartment. The maximum temperature on the temperature gauge reads 260, and the temperature of the rubber got up to 300 and probably higher too. And the typical temperature that the motor gets to while you're driving is halfway between the minimum and maximum, and that's on the motor. And the battery is off to the side of the motor, so it doesn't get to that temperature. The spray-on plastic dip can definitely take the temperatures that are inside at least my engine compartment and probably most engine compartments. So if you like this, please like and subscribe. I play it in high speed to try to make it a shorter video to try to make it faster because I care about you and I care about your time and I care about you as a human person as much as any person that can't see another person and doesn't know anything about another person can care about another person through the end of the tubes of the internet. So anyways, uh, please like and subscribe and hopefully I'll make more videos that you will also like.